You can start growing your own marijuana plants at home starting July 1st, but the law isn't as black and white as you might think. Uh, I've got a whole variety of genetics. Jonathan Zinsky is a hemp farmer. When you bend the plants down, it allows them to get more sunlight. He's planning to start growing marijuana plants um, at his home come July 1st. I'm very passionate about cannabis as a whole. Zinsky says he's owned a medical marijuana card for years. He says a mix of THC and CBD helped him to get off medication for anxiety. I want people to be knowledgeable about what they uh, use with their bodies. And by growing your own seeds, you have to learn about the plant to grow it. And in essence, you also learn how to use it responsibly. So Zinsky collected hundreds of donated seeds from across the country. He's giving them to various stores across the Lynchburg and Roanoke area to hand out to people who think marijuana might help them on July 1st. You can't grow it at your house if you have children under the age of 21. You can't grow it outside your house if anyone can see it from the street. Senator Mark Peake says the laws have a lot of gray area when it comes to growing. In a previous interview, Delegate Chris Hurst says that will work itself out over the next few years. We are not legalizing this to open up the floodgates to say everybody go out and try and find wherever you can go out and get it. Receiving seeds freely through donation is the only way to legally get marijuana in the Commonwealth right now. You're allowed to grow a total of four marijuana plants. As for seedlings, once they sprout leaves, they're considered a plant. There's, there's, um... Now, Zinsky didn't want to tell us which stores he's going to be giving the seeds out to. That's because he wants people to be responsible. He doesn't want people to go out and hoard all those seeds for those who really might actually need them for pain or other medical reasons. But his main event will be at the Apocalypse Brewing Works this Saturday.